everyday superpower where we talk body language, relationships, game, everything in between. Ellie says, all part of the charm, got the hinge ringing off. So where do we go? I did a video, uh, it probably the, be the one that came prior to this one, um, as to where I was talking about showing interest in a woman's specialised interest on her end and learning from that and how that's incredibly attractive if not the correct way to communicate with people in all honesty a forgotten art and I came across a passing comment which was in regards to people go on dates attempting to sell themselves feeling that it's about them selling themselves and that's just completely wrong that's take it from a serial data yeah it's completely wrong um i mean we're about 700 million videos into this channel and if you have watched a few of my videos you know you know how important it is and how much i emphasize and concentrate and dial in on the idea that you leave yourself yes and you focus on other people, you learn from other people, you pay attention to other people, you observe other people. In doing so, you validate other people, you allow people to be heard, and you cooperate and communicate with other people on a level other people don't do. Alright? So, I had a comment on a video, which was like, right, so she's attracted to me, but what do we do from here? So... I'm going to try and go over the whole sort of dating thing a little more than I normally do because I do talk about attraction and I talk about how to know if people are attracted to you and how this, that and the third. But we'll talk about dating, alright? And I gave you a brief overview or really highlighted a particular moment in that dating ecosphere which is you showcasing attention of who they are and finding their uh, inner and deeper recesses as a person and giving validation to what other people don't even acknowledge and we're gonna continue on so you're dating a woman and you find her attractive and even if you don't find her attractive man you utilize it as a great way of learning and being able to be a good person and being able to speak freely and understand and the parallels are tenfold. You know when they just oh I wouldn't dare speak to her. Oh blah 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 blah. It's just like well you're never gonna be able to cooperate and communicate efficiently with that woman you're very well attracted to because you're just like you feel you're better than other people and you shouldn't do that. We are all on an equal playing field, right? We're born and then we die, yeah? When we hit that grave bruh we're all equal it's the great equalizer it don't matter what you got in your pocket don't matter how tall you are don't matter how facially um gorgeous you are it doesn't matter about your six pack and your gift of the gab it does not matter we're all on an equal playing field and the fact that that is the case we go through life without people really seeing us without we, we yearn for somebody out there to acknowledge us and show appreciation in who we are. And you can be that person who gives that to the people around you. And in doing so, they will look at you as if you were, if you were, man, it goes without words. They will look at you as tenfold the people they normally run into conversations with, yeah? their blood brother, their blood sister, don't give two craps about them, they're too busy thinking about themselves and talking about themselves, you automatically become closer to them, because they perceive you as someone of more value, because you hear and you see, right, so let's apply that in a more literal sense, you're dating, yeah, you're sitting in a bar, you're having a few drinks, you've only just met her, right, this is your first date, you're sitting across the table, you're interested in her. You you had an all right day today. Oh, that's that's bad game, isn't it? Right? That's bad game. It's not because it opens up the door and it opens up a world of opportunities for you to then manoeuvre your way through a very fantastic and vibrant conversation that relates to her. 
You don't go on a date to sell yourself. You're already on that date because you have sold yourself. The only thing you can do at this point is F it up. And I'll tell you what, you're probably going to F it up if you just sit there talking about yourself in desperation all day. That's, that's not how it goes, man. It's a two-way street. She has to talk to you about herself and you have to genuinely and honestly appreciate her as a human being, what she's interested in, and communicate. Talk. Find out about her. If you're not bothered about who she is, then why are you dating her? Oh, well, I just want to get into her pants. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. The end result is her pants. The end result is probably in her pants more so than if you just sit there lying to her and trying to demonstrate how much of a superhero you are. Who cares, man? The almighty I. We all just reside in this horrible, toxic space of I, I, I and project our own self-worth onto other people, right? I, I, I. Here, they must care about me because I know I'm a very special person. Trust me, they don't care. They're too fussed and bothered about where they are in their life. Every single step of their life has come towards where they are. Now sitting across the table from you, let them speak about themselves, man. Come on. And you can say, well, uh, why can't I be validated? Truth be told, if she's interested in you, she's going to ask you questions. But she don't want to sit there hearing to some guy just chatter all day and night. They got a bad term for these men who just talk too much. It's called mansplaining. What are you mansplaining to me for? Why are you acting like I'm dumb? Why are you trying to pull the wool over my eyes? Why are you trying to? Why are you trying to? Why are you trying to? Don't baby these women. They're human beings and they're probably a lot smarter. I'll tell you what. If they're the same age as you, they're definitely smarter than you. That's for sure. They're more socially in tune and aware than men who have had the same life experience because their entire world revolves around the social realm. Yeah, it's biological. There's a difference. Come on, I'm putting you onto game here. This is respectful game. I'm giving, I'm giving props to the divine feminine here, man. You have to show love and interest in that which isn't you because that's your other half sitting across the table you are showcasing the masculine whereas they are showcasing the feminine and if you don't care for that feminine then you're not going to get the feminine you're just going to sit around in your masculine all day and you can go back home and twiddle your thumbs and play video games with five men in a group chat for the rest of your life if you want to understand the feminine and the female and the beautiful woman that sits opposite you, you need to inquire and be inquisitive. And this doesn't come from a place of falsehood. You have to quite literally be genuinely interested and fascinated in what goes on in her brain, what goes on in her life, how she perceives things because she sees the world through a different set of eyes than you will ever see that world so let's say in the worst case scenario the date doesn't go that well you've got a stepping stone to communicate better information with better know-how to the next woman i sit here on a channel where I tell you don't listen to a man telling you about what a woman wants because a man doesn't know a man can read a book a man can hear another man talk the man does not know right all I do to you is relay my personal experiences and relay information that women have told me and I know that sometimes what a woman says and what a woman does is completely different I completely agree with you but if you want to get to the source of how to be efficient and effective in the dating market and become somebody of value, you have to go out there and communicate and show interest at the perspective and the opinions of that beautiful woman across the table from you. Real talk. Real talk. Don't read a bunch of books and then go sit at a table and speak about yourself for 10 hours. Bruh, I as a man don't want to hear that shite let alone a woman, they're not impressed, it's not impressive, it screams of insecurity when you have to sell yourself 20-fold, you know what I mean, I'm in the business of selling man, 
You can't get through life without being good at sales. You can't succeed in life without being a good salesman. That's legitimate. You need to know the ins and outs of sales psychology. There's a parallel, yeah? And if I sit here trying to drill into your throat while you have to buy a particular product, your conscious mind is gonna reject the hell out of that. Whoa, why, why is he trying so hard? No, 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 just because he's been so annoying and irritant and trying to sell so desperately, I'm incredibly turned off at that. That desperation just, it screams insecurity. It screams that he's not sold one of these products before in his life and he feels like he's got a catch with me. I can't be that person. I'm not gonna be the one fool he convinces. Whereas if you indirectly sell that product through a genuine know-how of the value of what is, when you think, well, it's your loss if you don't buy this, because I've put it before you, I know what the value is this, and you're getting that for a pretty bloody good rate, and it's going to enhance your life tenfold. It's your problem. I don't need to sit there trying to force feed it down your throat. That's me on a date, right? I don't need to force feed myself to you, because I know the fathoms of game I got here. Take it or leave it. I know I'm not going to be the perfect partner, but everybody will come to you saying they are the perfect partner and they're lying to you when they say that. I have self-awareness and I know I'm going to develop and we'll grow together, yeah? Real talk. I'm going to sign out on that one. Click like and subscribe because I'm uploading every day. Two links down in the description of the video. One will take through to the catalogue of body language. Over 220 videos how to read people through their body language. Duh. It's free of charge on YouTube. Second to that is the Patreon, where you'll join me in watching real life first dates. I'll break down the attraction and the repulsion body language. No matter where you are on planet Earth, you'll see these behaviours manifest in the people around you. It's hardwired in all of us. I'm signing out. One love.